In today's video, we open the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Tactical Masters. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and in today's video, as I mentioned, we are opening the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh set, which when you guys are seeing this, it's still three days away from the actual release. We're opening it up a tiny bit early, which is pretty exciting. Tactical Masters, this is a collector rare Yu-Gi-Oh set, so it's gonna have like all rares as commons, then it has like three ultras per box and then a collector rare. And uh, for some reason, these are always packaged really weird. Like you see how loose this wrapping is and then like, it's like this. So if you are like two years in the future going, is my Tactical Masters box resealed? This is how they were. This is right when they came out. So FYI for all you guys who are worried in the future about if these things are actually resealed. I mean, even here, it's like you see how it's stuck here. Like, honestly, I feel like in the future, people are going to be like, this looks resealed because it looks resealed on all these new collector sets. They do. But that's just how they are. They I got these straight from uh, Sassiato, who got them from the distributor, who got them from Konami. So we are good to go there. And speaking of Sassiato, use my code Ruxin Tama T-A-M-A to get 5% off your order. If you guys want to order some of this Tactical Masters for yourself from Sassiato as well. So you get 5% discount. Sports me, sports Sassiato. And then of course you guys get the booster boxes. So it's a win, win, win. Let's get into this opening. I'll start talking about what is actually in here as we go. And by the way, the giveaway for this video, as we do with all the newest Yu-Gi-Oh sets is all the cards we pull in this video. Everything we pull will be given away to you guys in the video. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you're excited about in Tactical Masters because there's some pretty cool stuff in here. We'll discuss what is exactly in here as we go along, but all that stuff is available for you guys in the giveaway. And speaking of giveaways, don't fall for any YouTube comment scammers. Make sure you guys click uh, actually on the profile of the person you're talking to before you go to any Telegram. And if it doesn't bring up all my videos and my subscriber count and like my check mark on my name and all that stuff, then it's not me. If it has like two subscribers and no videos, that's scammer so do not send them any money or anything like that let's get into it wanted to mind you guys about that oh what the flaps on a different side this is going to be confusing i'm gonna have to open these upside down because i don't know how to open packs like this all right weird all right we got the valence mad marcus so inside there's a bunch of collector rares that we can get labyrinth set up very nice this is one of them anti-spell fragrance that comes as a collector rare there's a scapegoat collector rare there is a well, droll and lockbird that's a pretty big one so is droll a rare in here that's actually pretty big because there's not a lot of prints of droll okay there's a super rare so hopefully we can get some drolls you know that's actually pretty solid as a regular rare and uh usually when they have like stuff like psi frame gear gamma attitude and chaos those end up being worth a few bucks later on i'm rux and specialing every time surprised compulse didn't get one to be honest that would have been pretty nice uh duelist alliance for the duelist alliance here's the scapegoat all right reckless greed and invader of darkness and then i think the archetype people are looking for in here is called runic i think is how you say that i've never even heard of this somehow i didn't really research this a ton like ahead of time like i did like right before the opening Oh, there's Droll Unlock. So here is a very nice rare you can get. I'm going to be putting those aside. Super rare anti-spell fragrance is not bad either. Yeah, the runic stuff, I don't know like if it's actually good or not, but it seems like that's the archetype to get out of here. So far, I don't think we've actually gotten any of the runic cards. So let's see if we can get something. Uh, I've Rex is special every single time right to the super rare book of eclipse anti spell. We got the uh, reckless greed and the labyrinth. OK, so more super rares. Nothing too insane so far. Let's see if we can get uh, the root. We're not Rex especially. We're not to see. Look, I'm even trying not to. I'm still doing it. Pendulum. We got the there's the runic golden droplets. Super rare. Malice, uh, Duelist Alliance, and Cosmic Cyclone. This also has a collector rare, which is interesting because it already has an ulti. They seem to love to reprint ultis as collector rares. I don't know why, but let me know in the comments. How do you feel about that? Do you think it should stick with just ultis or do you think they should have both? And once again, a reminder that this is a set that has not come out yet when you see this video. So the prices are going to be different than what they are on Friday when it Rux and special again when everyone oh here's trap trick another big collector rare in this set but when everyone has access to selling on tcg player on friday then this is gonna go way way down usually most cards not every single card but a lot of the cards that are worth you know 15 bucks now might be worth two bucks then so keep that in mind don't you know buy stuff way too early you know you might use or waste too much money on stuff that you don't want uh really want to pay that much for so if you like really need it really want it then go ahead but i would wait till friday usually we got the bear blocker the gary the runic fangs okay and uh runic allure we've got a lot of packs to go in this opening 48 total in this thing so far we have not pulled an ultra so let's see if we can get quick bo quick booster we got the droll and lock bird nice we got the valence genesis okay scapegoat why does that, that didn't look like a rare that's kind of weird and the absolute king all right what can we get more drolls i'll take those i mean i'm guessing those will be at like a dollar right for the most part and then they might go down for a little bit archfiend's ghastly but that's a solid card to get is okay we're gonna do 
We're gonna do a pack trick because this is so hard not to rux a special. So it's supposed to be there if it's a super. So we're just gonna do that so we don't ruin it. I don't know if the ultra will be in the same spot because sometimes it's different. Here we go. Now it's easier not to rux a special than the, okay, the moon in of the runic wings. I don't know, like, is that gonna be good? Are you guys excited about runic stuff? I don't really know about it, to be honest. Oh, I forgot to do it. Wait. Okay, another super rare. So we still have not hit a card that is not a super rare yet. This is what I don't like about collector rare sets. I've said this a few times. I like the sets. I like collector rares. I just don't like, okay, we might've gotten our first hit. I also don't like this. It's in a different spot. So then you know you hit something, which is kind of annoying, but I just don't like that you only get three hits usually per box. It's just feels a little bit low. Okay, we got the the Huggin or the or the Hugin. What does that say? I'm going to go with Huggin, the Runic Wings. I don't know how to actually do grammar because if I did, I would know if it was a two Gs. It's probably Hug, right? Hugin. So maybe it's Hugin. Maybe I sort of kind of know grammar. I don't know. There's the Ruxin special right off the bat. We've got a super rare. We're really looking for those drolls, though. The drolls are what we really want. Those are insane. I don't know what good ultras are. I'm assuming Runic would be decent because it's a new thing. Pendulum switch, we got the runic freezing curses. I, I need to go back to the uh, pack trick, but I keep forgetting. I'm getting carried away with the opening. Let's do this. Okay, it's three right here, right? Let's do this. And that's the problem. So you do it. Now we got the ultra rare, the runic tip. All right, more runic stuff. Very cool. Ultra rare and uh, reckless greed. And we're still looking. Imperial Iron Ball is not a bad card either. That's had an OTS print for a while. All right. And by the way, don't forget, you guys can win this stuff. We have the quick booster. We have the runic fangs. All right. Nice. Very nice. First box so far. We've got two ultras, no collector rare. Who can we get you guys a collector rare to win? Let's go. Uh, another Rux and special. We got the Valence World. That We just got accepted at this point. There's going to be Rux and specials. It's just going to happen. Let's Let's see if we can stop those Ruxin specials. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Let's see if we can. We've got the uh, Seion Quick Booster, another one. It's like, even if I don't Ruxin special, it's like a half Ruxin special where the card gets pulled all the way up like that. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're only going to move the third card. So that way, if there is one on the fifth card, it's still in the middle. Let's do that. Let's try that strategy. Oh, and there's an Ultra Ray. It worked. Arion, the Labyrinth Servant. So. Very cool. It's like Pharaoh's Servant and Labyrinth and Nightmare combined in the names of the Labyrinth Servant. I don't know. Pretty cool. Uh, that opened kind of weird. We still we've gotten three ultras, so it's like, OK, we either hit Collector Rare or Bust. Let's keep going. Will it be in the last couple packs? Collector Rare, Scapegoat, Nice, Duelist Alliance, Lilith, Absolute King Black. This actually needed a reprint because when we did that gold video, this card was like 370 in, in gold rarity. That's pretty insane. So I see why that got a reprint. That card was expensive. Two cards to go, or two packs to go, I should say. What will we pull? One, two, three. Let's do it the right way. Hopefully that's a collector rare. We have the uh, Mad, the Runic, the Astrograph Sorcerer, the Labyrinth Ku Clock, the Invader of Darkness, the Labyrinth Barrage. Okay, the Labyrinth Barrage. One more pack to go in this first box. Then we have another box to go. Hopefully we can pull something epic. We have the Pendulum Fusion. Oh my goodness. How did I mess that up? Wait, what? I did the wrong card. Because here it is, Labyrinth the Barrage, you add it again. All right, first box, uh, all right. I don't really know how good that was, to be honest. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. Okay, apparently these, these three ultras are like three of the best cards you could pull in terms of ultra rares. According to the price guide right now, which you know, you know, it's going to change. But usually like the rankings of the cards, like if it's the highest, most expensive card in ultra rare, even when the prices go down, it's still usually the most expensive. It might just be less. So I think that that should be pretty accurate that we've pulled three good cards. We should know that. We just don't know the exact values that they're going to be later. So it seems like that was a pretty good box. All right, box numero dos. Let's see what we can pull. So far, we have pulled pretty well, I would say. We have not pulled a collector rare, though. That would be pretty sick. Let's see the bear block. Wait, how did I mess that up again? It's an... I thought I pulled... Th I don't understand. I don't know what I'm doing, but apparently I'm not opening these correctly. Okay, here's... Okay, it should be the third card, right? So it should be this. Shouldn't be. Malice. Okay, scapegoat. Lilith. Labyrinth. Running destruction. Okay, so we did it right. We did it correctly. Let's see if we can do it correctly again. One, two, three. We have the runic dispelling. Okay, the quick booster. I think the most expensive ultra was runic. Uh, runic fountain is what we're looking for. Okay. Oh, and there's a collector rare. Lovely labyrinth of the silver castle. So wait, lovely labyrinth. Wait, this person is a labyrinth or is the labyrinth lovely? I'm so confused here. All right, this must be a new archetype. The labyrinth archetype. Kind of cool, actually. There's a collector rare. Okay. 
All right, this could be a great box. So we've already gotten a collector rare and we have still have oh droll and lockbird. Okay, we didn't get a lot of drolls now that I think about it. What did we get like a play set in one box? I mean, for how few rares there are, it's actually not very many. Okay, let's see what else we can get. We got the fiend grieving, the munin. All right, munin I think is, uh, I really don't know actually. I was thinking of hugging. Hugging was good. Hugging, hugin, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. We've got the Naz. Oh, 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 the runic tip. This was the second highest card. It was around $20 at current pricing, of course. But all right, this is a pretty, pretty good opening. You guys have a great, a uh, good chance to win a really nice giveaway. And speaking of that, we will be announcing those soon for the giveaways. So keep an eye on that. Gonna try and get all those shipped out ASAP. I'm a little bit behind on that. Kind of a lot behind, actually, but we're trying to do what we can. We got a super rare. Very nice. All right, can we get more drolls? Can we get more ultras? So, so far we've pulled what? One ultra and one collector rare already? Been pretty good. Pretty good start to this box. Let's see what else we can do. Labyrinth setup, super rare, trap trick, and Imperial Iron Wall. Still a bunch of packs to go. So a lot of potential here to pull something amazing. How are you guys feeling about Tactical Masters? I mean, if you guys are excited, make sure to check out Sassy Auto's link down below and use the code RUXANTAMA because you guys want to get that 5% off. Don't forget to get 5% off. I want you guys to get a good deal, so uh here we go oh 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 ultra welcome labyrinth so we got a lot of labyrinth stuff so welcome labyrinth not welcome to the labyrinth also you notice how they spell with no i in the labyrinth archetype very interesting there's no i in labyrinth i don't know why that is i guess to differentiate itself from just the word labyrinth i don't know i don't know maybe we've got a runic flashing fire so we've gotten what two ultras and a collector already Okay, this has been pretty nice. This has been pretty nice. Let's see what else we can get. We got a labyrinth labyrinth. See, look, labyrinth with no eye and then labyrinth with a la with an eye in the labyrinth. Okay, very confusing here. We are opening a lot of labyrinth here. A lot of labyrinth going on in this second box. We've got the Archfiend Ghastly Glitch. Okay, so we're going a little bit of Pokemon there. Uh, Runic Allure. Still several packs to go until the end of this opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. The newest Yu-Gi-Oh set. By the way, we will be doing a live stream opening up a lot of this. I'm thinking tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, let me know in the comments if that is a good day for you guys. Wednesday night, probably like maybe like 5 p.m., 4 p.m., something like that. So you guys can at least have a chance. 5, 4 p.m. my time. So Pacific guys, it'd be a little bit more in the middle of the day for you guys, but later towards the night so you guys can possibly see it. Oh, we got a runic freezing curses curses okay nice let's keep going let's keep going we've got labyrinth barrage right now. it keeps going straight to it this is i just gave up trying to like pull the cards because it's just gonna rux the special every time this might be a record it's these specific sets the way these cards are see look you literally can't pull it without rux and speduling so frustrating all right uh very nice we got four packs to go four packs left in our two boxes let's see what we can get so look, I literally have to push them apart. It doesn't work. And I spell free. Where are the drolls? Did we have one droll in this box? I gotta look up how many drolls we got. It feels like drolls are hard to get here. Get the quick booster. We got the bear blocker, the valence. We should have, what, one more ultra in here? In the last two packs, don't we? Or do we not? I think we have one more ultra, right? Or did I forget about one? Uh, Labyrinth setup. Maybe I forgot about one. Maybe I forgot about one. Let's see. Final pack of Tactical Masters First Edition. We'll be opening up more of this live. A little bit less than three cases. Something like that, I think. Uh, the Valence. We got the Droll. Okay, nice. Okay, here it comes. So there is one more. Droll and Lockbird. We have Book of Eclipse. And the Valence Wars, the place at the beginning. So I guess there's three new archetypes in here. The Valence, whatever that is. I mean, I've seen that a few times in this opening, but um, yeah, cool. All right, so we got four total Drolls. So I guess if you get a box, you get around two Drolls, you know, just based on our tiny sample size, but not quite a place that would have been nice to see, but still pretty good if you don't have your drolls. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. And don't forget to enter the giveaway to win all the cards that we just pulled today. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, Ananda Tai Show, Thomas McLean, Seth Fisher, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.